Right, welcome to the Ravid Show. We are here at Big Data London and it's day one. I'm super excited because I have my friend Ryan Dolly with me today chatting about good data analytics, BI and much more. Not a new face to the Ravid Show. We've chatted so many times but then uh, you always bring a fresh perspective to our audience, to the data community. So I'm kind of excited to learn a little about good data analytics, BI, what's happening at Big Data London. Uh, but just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell yeah. us more about Good sure. Data as well. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so I'm Ryan Daly. I'm VP of Product Strategy at Good Data. It's awesome to be back, by the yes. way, Ravit. Love your show. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I have a lot of experience in BI, like 15 years. Exactly. Um, done lots of things. You know, if you're on a BI team, I was once on a BI team. That's where I got my start. <laughs> and uh, really happy to be here talking to you at Big Data London. This is my first time here. This is an awesome conference. If you get a chance to come, I highly recommend you do to check it out. Uh, lots of great people to meet, awesome presentations, and right. uh, yeah, it's, it's very good. It's always good to be here at Big Data London. It's m almost my third time at Big Data London. I've been doing this uh, and always good to meet the community here in London. So that's awesome. I'm kind of also curious to learn a little about good data. I know over the years you all have evolved so much. Yeah. I remember we chatting back at Gartner London. <laughs> Uh, it was a while back in, um, you know, almost one and a half year back, I yeah. guess. And uh, you had such interesting announcements back then. Uh, so what's new at Good Data? What's happening? Would you like to share a little yeah, about that? Yeah, so there's a lot going on. Um, you know, we're, the, we're doing, putting in a ton of, of great product advancements. If you don't know Good Data, we're an analytics platform. We really focus on uh, giving you great scale, multi-tenancy, uh, developer tooling, we really are very different from, from kind of a traditional BI platform right. uh, in that way. Our foundation is, is open source software, so rather than building on proprietary tech, you know, our, uh, we're built on Apache Arrow and, and DuckDB right. uh, and that sort of thing. So we really embrace kind of open standards, open source software foundations, uh, but we package it up into a really powerful analytics tool that you can use to build analytics apps for your users. And that's one of the big things that we see in the BI industry is kind of this move away from a strict dashboard focus mm -hmm. and more about you know tailoring the experience to your user community. Uh, and that in a lot of ways means embracing things like analytics as code, application development, and, and building something a little more specific than what you get out of an out-of-the-box dashboard. And that's a big part of what we offer here. That's awesome. Uh, thanks for that explanation. It, all, it is obviously always, like I said, uh, good to you know, hear from uh, folks at Good Data, obviously the innovations that you all bring to the game. I'm kind of also curious to learn a little about you know how Good Data is different from some other tools out there because uh, that's like the... Uh, point where you know obviously a lot of users also want to always feel that okay fine this is something that we are kind of looking for and we're kind of getting it yeah. at good data so yeah, yeah. so uh, you know one of the big differentiators and it's what I'm talking about at my presentation here later today is our embrace of what we call analytics as code right so how does you know most tools if you look at BI very traditionally are UI centric, and, right? And we're you. We have a great UI too. Very easy to use, especially for end user self service. It's really designed for that. But when it comes to what the, the analytics engineers and the professional authors need, we're, we're finding that uh, you know UI is in, in many ways is running into its limits when mm -hmm. it comes to scaling, when it comes to integration, when it comes to CI CD and the quality of the analytics product you're able to put out. So we really embrace that at Good Data. We nice. have a Python SDK, we have React libraries. You can really take our components and build your own front end if you need to. Or you can embed our components into an application you're building. Of course, we have a traditional out-of-the-box BI, BI interface, but, but kind of that ability to really think hard about your user community and deliver exactly what they need, especially if you're a, a data practice that's embracing data products or uh, you know, design thinking. I talk to a lot of people who are really moving in that direction when it comes to their analytics front end. Right. And we are, are laser focused on, on delivering that experience. The other difference is kind of our back end, also manageable as code, but like I said earlier, you know, built on open source foundations. So, mm. you know, when you look at our query engine and caching layer, right? That's built based on Apache Arrow. Mm. Uh, so it is a, a well understood, well adopted analytics technology. 
And we give you the ability to interact with Aero in good data the same way you would with Aero if it were in any other system, right? right. And so we're really not locking you into to any one way of working. We kind of give you the tools that you need to build the nice. right analytics experience for your audience. I think that is like one very important thing for the enterprise leaders, but also for you know the architects out there who kind of you know obviously want that freedom or want yeah. that openness to you know work around when it comes to business intelligence. Also, uh, since we're on this topic, I'm also kind of curious to learn a little about how do you compete with the hyperscalers out yeah. there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Microsofts and the uh, true, you know. It's very interesting when you think about the BI market in general. Um, those hyperscalers are really focused on like your classic BI experience, right? Which is we're an IT department. We want to procure fifteen hundred licenses of a tool, and we're going to give it to our data analysts. And then you know some magic is going to happen, and the data analysts are going to solve data problems, right? Uh, that's not really what we're trying to do. What we're really focused on is, is kind of giving your forward-looking team, say, say your innovation team uh, or your data products team, right. the tools they need to build that curated analytics experience on the best tech. Um, and so we kind of find, like, like, we're not always, you know, if someone's like, well, either I'm going to buy good data or I'm going to buy 2,000 licenses of Power BI to give my data analysts, like, someone's in the wrong room. <laughs> um, frankly, and the other way we compete is, we we're an independent platform, right? So no matter where you want to, like you can deploy us on any cloud. For example, we have a, a Kubernetes native deployment. If you want to deploy on AWS, GCP, Azure, that's great. If you want to deploy on your own true on-prem Kubernetes cluster, that's great too. And some right. of our biggest customers are doing that. Okay. So that neutrality gives you some optionality, and and as an independent platform. You know, we're not trying to drive cloud spend. Mm. Like our goal is not to get you to buy our cloud AI services and our cloud infrastructure. Our goal is just to give you the best analytics tool possible and the best analytics experience possible. Fantastic. And so that differentiates us from some of the really major players who, you know, yes, they want to give you a great analytics tools and, and they have great analytics offerings, but they also really want you to, you know, buy that enterprise cloud subscription and buy those EC2 clusters or whatever it is. That's not our goal at all. Okay, fantastic. Those are fantastic insights. Thanks for sharing that. Also, that brings me to another question about the future of data analytics oh, yeah. and BI. So I'm kind of curious to learn from you because I know for a fact where you have your own podcast too, you've yep. been talking to the leaders out there, and you you know obviously interact a lot with the enterprise leaders out there day in and out with the customers prospects and much more so kind of curious to learn your thoughts about the future of data and analytics any anyway. yeah that's it's a very interesting question i think <laughs> you know obviously the answer has to include ai because yeah. it's such a huge thing going on and uh, you know you look around here at the at the conference and ai is on literally every vendor's booth yeah. for example yeah um, so I do think AI is a huge part of it. I think AI is going to bring us much closer to the analytics promised land, which has always been this dream of self-service. And right. if you look over the course of my career, that's always been everyone's goal. So many data leaders, they, they have this idea of, you know, we're going to achieve, there's something we can do on the data team that, and then, when it comes to building the content, right, the, the dashboards and the visualizations and the reports, finding the insights, uh, we'll do self-service for that. And our industry has just swung back and forth between, hey, we're gonna deliver self-service and then users are gonna build stuff and then that always doesn't quite work. And then, you, <laughs> and then that company will go back to, you know what, we're gonna bring it back in-house and we're gonna build up a big data team, we're gonna deliver insights from the data team and then that doesn't quite work. So one of the big things that I see happening is I do believe over the next few years that AI, the AI experience is going to get more powerful, mm. um, more refined, and it will do a, a much better job than, than any self-service dashboard builder has ever been able to do in allowing business people to get answers to their questions, right? Mm. I, I do think that's going to happen. We're working on that at Good Data. Uh, and we, we have some exciting things that we'll be announcing in the coming weeks around AI, so stay tuned for that. But uh, what that means then, I think, is that, you know, 
what we do as data people is going to evolve. Right. We will exactly. be answering way few, especially if you're in BI, mm. you're going to be or a data analyst. You're going to be answering way fewer of those. Hey, I just need to know what the sales for this widget were last month because right. I can't. Right. AI will be able to already can do that fairly well. Exactly. And we'll be able to do it perfectly soon. So I think. You know, what you're, if you're watching this and you're, you're a data analyst or a BI person, your job is going to shift to more about managing the overall system, yes. curating the metrics, right? Kind of being that human face of the data team so that the data team is able to build the right stuff to enable those AI experiences. And of course, you are still going to build dashboards. Uh, but it's going to be the value-added stuff. It's going to yeah. be the hard stuff. Hot stuff. You know, it's not going to be this easy stuff. And I think as a data person, I mean, I personally, when I think back to my days on a BI team, I would have been thrilled if I could only focus on the hard stuff. So <laughs> yes. I, I, th I think that's going to be a, a big advantage to everybody. Love it. Love those insights. Always, uh, you know, good to hear about the future. And I think uh, spot on in terms of, you know, how things have kind of accelerated with yeah. AI. We've been kind of, you know, obviously seeing, we've been talking to a lot of data engineers, BI engineers out there, uh, and exactly what we've been kind of hearing too. So that's awesome, Brian. Uh, one last question for our audience I would like to yeah. ask is, if they want to reach out to you, learn more about, I know you share a lot of content on LinkedIn, oh, yeah. uh, and obviously your podcast as well, and then also learn about good data. Where can they do that? Yeah, well, so, uh you, know, you can catch me on LinkedIn. That's probably the easiest way. Just follow me on LinkedIn. I share content related to data analytics and BI almost daily. I do have my own podcast, The Super Data Brothers Show, which I do with my brother Eric every Thursday at noon Eastern time. Uh, and then, you know, gooddata.com is probably the easiest place to find us. Um, you, we post tons of content on LinkedIn, too, as a exactly. company. So follow Good Data on LinkedIn, and, uh, and you can keep up with, you know, what's going on. I mentioned the cool AI announcement coming up, so you know, follow Good Data on LinkedIn, and you'll be sure to catch it then. Also, we have uh, coming up on September 24th, we have a, um, a uh, uh, webinar nice. about analytics as code, which is a very popular and hot topic right now, so exactly. if you want to check that on, on September 24th, I will appear on it. We've got uh, industry analyst Donald Farmer appearing on it. Wow, so, that's awesome. Uh, it's going to be really cool. Check that out. That's awesome. Thanks, Ryan, and uh, thanks for always uh, taking the time out. It's always oh, yeah. a pleasure chatting with you on The Ravid Show. Yeah, it's, it's great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye.